Have you ever thought that the default notifications in SOLIDWORKS PDM were a little BORING? Well now, you can give them a bit more style with SOLIDWORKS PDM 2023. New for SOLIDWORKS PDM 2023 is the Notification Templates feature which allows you to customize the alerts you and your users receive as you work with files in the vault. As you would expect to see, you have separate templates available for added, changed state, checked in, checked out, and delayed in state events. Let's take a look at the most commonly used type of notification, changed state. You'll notice you have an option to leave it as default or go with the custom setting, which is what we're going to do here today. When you select custom, you have the ability to change the HTML script to better suit what you are looking for in your notifications. If you're familiar with HTML, you should feel right at home. But in case you are a novice or even completely unfamiliar with HTML, there are a wide range of resources just a Google search away to show you how to craft a better looking notification. As you make changes, you can click preview to see what things look like. If you make a mistake and just want to reset from the start, click this button here. Let's start by modifying the script here to personalize the header by using our company name. Next, it would be a good idea to add our logo. This will require us to use an image tag and define the source which for me is my locally hosted website. You could use one hosted on the internet if you want. It will only work, however, when you're connected to the internet. Now let's update the color scheme. We'll be entering hex codes, which you can look up and ensure the specific colors you want are used. Let's see how things look so far. Looking a little better, but let's do something a bit more advanced. Why don't we add the revision variable to the section that contains the rest of the file information? Let's copy and paste the file name portion of this section and change file name to revision. Now let's edit this section, which is the main table that lists all files where actions are occurring in the transition. Instead of a hypertext reference like the rest of these, we'll simply use a variable callout for revision. We'll also set the font color and use this particular hex value to better match the color scheme. Let's take another look at the preview. It's definitely an improvement over what we started with. While we could do more if we wanted, let's just run a test in our environment to see what it looks like with real values. I'll check my notifications and bring up one that I've just sent from another computer. Not too bad. Keep in mind you can have different templates for the other actions as well in case you wanted to have more specific messaging in your other notifications. We hope you found this video informative and we invite you to keep an eye out for further SOLIDWORKS PDM videos from Hawkridge Systems. Thanks and see you next time.